Do you guys remember the first time you found out what veganism is? I remember I was like a 12 year old kid who had grown up eating meat, eating animal products and I just remember thinking How do people live without cheese and eggs? Since then I've obviously learned there's a lot more to veganism than I thought. The main difference between now and back when I was 12 is that there is a way bigger market for veganism. For this video we are going vegan for a week. <laughs> For this week, I wanted to make a lot of the same meals that I normally have, but just make them vegan. Whilst doing my food shop, I found that it obviously took me a lot more time just because I had to check ingredients. And for me specifically, I had to keep an eye out for certain nuts that I'm allergic to because I knew that they were using a lot of vegan alternatives. But I actually did have a lot of fun just browsing like all the vegan alternatives and picking some up. This looks very similar to my normal food shop and all of this came to £68.50. That's actually a little bit less than we'd spend normally. Okay, starting at this end, we've got some vegan cheese, beans, hummus, nutritional yeast, vegan butter, veggies, peanut butter, falafel. I'm very excited to try this. Veggies, lots of fruit, vegan burger buns. I heard good things about Beyond Burger. Doesn't that look like real meat? Sourdough bread, bagels, and pizza, and it has like a cauliflower base. Vegan mayonnaise, wraps, tofu, racha. These were like six quid, so you can take that off. Dessert, and then here are my snacks. And yes, Oreos are vegan. I had these before and I absolutely love them. Oatly is my favorite oat milk. There are several health benefits linked to eating a plant-based diet, like lowering the risk of heart disease, it can lower blood sugar levels, but one of the main reasons we see people going vegan is that a plant-based diet is better for the environment and so let's give it a go <laughs> One of the main things I was taking into consideration was obviously taste and that was me trying some vegan butter and it wasn't too bad at all actually. So we've started off Monday morning with avocado toast on sourdough bread and with baked beans. This seems like a bit of a weird combo but it's actually really good and also packed with protein so there you go. <laughs> I am having oat milk, you're having cow juice. Sorry, I just prefer it, okay? So over this week, I don't show you guys every single time I snack, but I did munch on like the random bits and bobs that I bought in between meals. So it's time for our first lunch, falafel wraps. For this, I chopped up some tomatoes, put in some hummus and lettuce, and then of course, the falafel. I really recommend this specific falafel from Cauldron. This was so, so yummy and a really quick and easy lunch. Okay, for dinner, we are making one of my favorites and a classic, burgers and fries. I needed to use up my Beyond Burger, so I fried them up. It didn't take too long, it was super easy, and I was excited to try them with these vegan brioche buns. I don't think I honestly would have been able to tell the difference between these and normal brioche buns, they were really good. I tried some of this vegan cheese. It wasn't too bad, I tried it by itself and I didn't love it, but it does work really well in stuff. And then the vegan mayo was also really good. Again, when it was in the burger, I couldn't tell that it was different to normal mayo. This is a meal that we have on the regular and it looks very similar to a non-vegan one that we would have. So let's try it. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, that is so good. What? Oh my goodness. Mm. Yeah, it does like, have like a good meaty texture. That is meat, baby. Well, it's um, not. Somewhat like it more than a regular burger. Thank you. 
recipe is normally very similar to this, bananas, oats, but I use eggs. So instead of that, there's peanut butter in here and they look exactly the same. Mmm. I think I'm gonna make a quinoa salad. I'm a big fan of quinoa, but whilst I'm waiting for my quinoa to cook, I'm gonna have one of these, because I'm feeling a bit hungry. All really natural stuff. Here they are. Cheers. I've been loving cooking with quinoa recently and since it's vegan I definitely wanted to use it in a recipe this week. This lunch was definitely a bit improvised so I fried up some mushrooms, I then added sweet corn and added some passata sauce. I actually ended up using too much so oops, learn from my mistakes. Then I added my quinoa and just made this sort of like salad situation kind of. This is what I meant by it was very improvised so I just popped it into a plate with some bread and added some lettuce. to say that this next recipe is from the John Paul app. John Paul are a health and well-being app that supply like healthy recipes, workouts, it's a great place to check your goals and they are very very kindly sponsoring this part of the video. I've worked with them a couple times in the past, you guys know how much I love this app. So we are making vegan mac and cheese. Let's roll the clips. This recipe was so easy to follow. So I started off with chopping up some white onion and as you can see, the John Paul app actually has video tutorials, which I love. Not a lot of well-being apps like this have this feature. Then I cooked up my macaroni and then combined the milk and the onions and just brought that to a simmer. I've never done this before with mac and cheese, but I highly recommend you try it because this added so much flavor. Then drain the milk and put it aside. I then melted some vegan butter in the pan. This is when you start to make your creamy, cheesy sauce. I then added some plain flour. Bit by bit, you wanna add your milk that we just simmered. And keep going until it combines and creates this like lovely creamy texture. This is such a vegan hack to getting your recipes more cheesy and flavorsome. I added some nutritional yeast. I'll definitely be using this more in the future. Then just seasoned with some salt and pepper. Add your macaroni. Do you hear that? And then I added some vegan cheese and let that melt in. Now preparing it for the oven, pop it into a baking dish. I then added some breadcrumbs as a traditional mac and cheese should have. Mine then went in the oven for about 20 minutes. Okay, this looks and smells amazing. Let's try it. That is so yum. This is why I love John Paul recipes. So easy to follow. The ones I've tried always come out good. This was incredible. I love using the John Paul app for easy meal planning each week and discovering new recipes like this one. They are also always constantly adding new recipes and new features to the app. Mm, mm, it's mm, it's a nice flavor, isn't it? See, I don't know if that's the nutrition mm. yeast. Delicious, like divine. Thinking about that mac and cheese now, I'm craving it so much. I think I'm gonna make it tonight. So if you wanna try the John Paul app, if you are vegan, if you're trying to be vegan, or if you're not, they cater to so many different diets. I highly, highly recommend. The link will be in the description bar. They also do a two week free trial in case you wanna test it out. So make sure you check the John Paul out. And again, a massive thank you to the team over at John Paul for working with me on this video. Anyway, back to my vegan ventures. time I tried some tofu. Yes, I've had tofu before, but never scrambled, and I was surprised by how easy this was to do. I had it with a bagel and with some avocado, and of course my new favorite sauce, sriracha. This was a very good lunch, I highly recommend. Takeout time. For dinner tonight, we're having sushi, but vegan sushi. Will was like, it smells funny. I know fish smells funny as well, but. Oh. 
I don't know what it actually is. Out of 10? This specifically, like this meal. Yeah. A three. That's just this. Three. I know, but like I can't finish it. It's just this place that I don't think has done a good job. Yeah. It looks like some sort of jelly. I don't get up at this hour every day. I have work this morning. That's why I'm doing this to myself. I was nice to myself and tried to prep a little chia pudding. I did something wrong. I don't think I mixed it enough. Just gonna drink it and then I'll probably just have toast and a banana. Since obviously I was at work for lunch, I just went for a vegan option from Sainsbury's. This sweet potato falafel salad was so good and pretty healthy. dinner tonight I was excited to try this gnocchi since I was really tired from my morning shift I wanted to go for an easy and quick recipe and this was perfect we eat normal gnocchi a lot and so I was really curious to see how this would compare but hand on heart this was ridiculously similar more than I thought it would be texture taste everything I do really really recommend this as an alternative to gnocchi For the last day, I had a morning shift again, so I just went for some overnight oats with some chia seeds and banana. I didn't end up getting a clip, but for lunch at work, I just had the same sweet potato falafel salad. Okay, so we're on the final day. I had a morning shift again today. I'm feeling quite tired. Um, and I want to go for something easy. That is why I bought this. Margarita pizza with the cauliflower base. Monday to Friday week. I feel very confident in saying that that was a success. Don't get me wrong, I probably should have put this disclaimer at the start. I am obviously not a vegan expert. This is my first time going vegan. And so if accidentally anything I used wasn't vegan, I put my hands up and I apologize. And if you're looking into more like expert advice from people who know a lot more about veganism than I do, I'll try to leave some channels I love linked below, some channels that I got recipe inspiration from as well. To conclude, if we're gonna put this formally, I actually really, really enjoyed this week, more than I thought I would. I love learning about using different kind of ingredients like tofu, nutritional yeast, and how you absolutely can use them to your full advantage. It allowed me to get a bit more creative with cooking, which I've been loving doing recently. And I think I can say that I have proven this week you 100% can make those typical yummy comfort food meals that we all know and love, but just make them vegan. For example, the John Paul mac and cheese. And I'm not just saying this because John Paul very kindly sponsored that part of the video. That was honestly, I think my favorite meal from the whole week. So the main things I was looking out for, is it more expensive? I didn't find that it was, and I showed you guys in the clips in the supermarket, comparing prices like vegan butter with butter. It doesn't have to be super more expensive. I do find some of like the vegan snacks tend to be more, but arguably a lot of them are healthier. They have more like clean ingredients in them. I did generally feel more healthier as well, eating like plant-based burgers or the plant-based mac and cheese. Didn't feel as bloated. The main question everyone's gonna be asking is, am I now vegan? I think it's important and realistic not to just completely change up your diet overnight. But after this week, it's made me think a lot more about sort of making more responsible decisions when it comes to food. It's really not about like the health benefits for me. It's about the animals. It actually does make a more positive impact on our world than eating 
meat. So I definitely will be buying more plant-based substitutes during my weekly shop. I have thoroughly enjoyed this week and making this video. I really, really like these kind of food challenges and just more foodie videos to be honest because who doesn't like food? And I hope you're feeling hungry after watching this. So stay tuned for next time. I think the next kind of foodie video I want to do is just like a what I eat in the week and also maybe just make it a bit more vloggy. I don't know. But there we go. It means the world to me if you got this far. I love you all and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!